Hello everyone, and today I am going to be going over some of the some of the simple, like more common uses behind my favorite program. And as a YouTuber and as a podcaster, this is an invaluable tool to me. And we're going over Audacity. Um, just some simple stuff, nothing, nothing really into it. But first off, if you don't know what Audacity is, go over to Google. Um, just type in that's the name right there. You can find it, it's the first link. Um, they've got downloads for Windows, Mac, and Linux for all the big platforms. And it's pretty much just an audio recorder and editor. And it's probably the best that I've ever used. Between all of the paid ones, trying out the demos and all that. And it's, it's unparalleled. Okay, so, first things first is... Just to start recording, you can just start hitting hit the little red button, starts recording. I don't have a microphone on this machine, I'm using a different microphone, so it isn't recording anything. And then you've got your sound, whatever you've just recorded, and you can play with that. You can edit it, you can export it, do all that good stuff. So um if you do it the way that I do it, is I record sound separately just because I don't have a very good microphone. So I try and at least keep a dedicated device towards it. At this point in time, I'm really just using my iPod with a pair of headphones that have a microphone on it, and it kind of works. So the way that I do it is I get it off my iPod, put it onto my hard drive, and then on here, um, at the beginning of every video, I have a couple of seconds of dead sound, or dead static, dead silent. And what you can do with that, because of the magic of Audacity, you can just sort of highlight it. And, well, first off, with that dead sound, it's not really dead, you can hear static. And that comes with the cheaper microphones. If you don't have a good one, a good $100 or $200 microphone, a Yeti or a Snowball, whatever, then you're gonna get this st this static no matter what you do. If it doesn't, ha it doesn't have noise cancellation. It's just, it's just an issue with everyone. So the magic of Audacity lets you sort of get rid of that. As this effect, doo -doo -doo, where is it? Noise removal. So you can highlight, uh, you can highlight that area of dead noise where you haven't said anything. Usually what I do is I hit the record button, I don't say anything for about 45 seconds to a minute. I found that to be the sweet spot for Audacity. Audacity requires you at least 30 seconds. Actually, I say at least 30 seconds. I'm, I'm pretty sure Audacity will let you do less, but still less than 30 seconds and it's really going to mess with the quality of it. And even still, it... There is the argument that it does sound a little bit tinny after you do this, but honestly, a tinny is better than having static in your user's ears the whole video. Okay, so highlight the section where you haven't spoken, the 45 seconds to a minute or however long you hit record and didn't say anything. Go to noise removal, get noise profile, and we'll take it from that. Then highlight the entirety of the tape. Go to the effect again. Go to noise removal again under effect, noise removal. And then the first time you hit get noise profile, the second time you're going to hit um, remove. So it even tells you step one, select a few seconds of noise. Already did that. Step two, select what you want to be filtered, what you want to take the noise out of. Just hit OK. Usually the default settings are just fine. If you find it's messing with you a lot, feel free to mess around with it a little bit. Maybe bringing down how much it actually reduces it a little bit might help you. Maybe bring it down to 20 decibels instead of 24. However you want to do it. It's up to you. Um, just hit OK. I'll go through and apply the effects. Give it a couple seconds. We could be really slower, that would be nice. Well, then again, this is like a 30 minute clip, so that probably wasn't the best option, but yeah. 
Um, so once that's done, you'll notice that over here before there's a couple of spikes. Here, just hit Control-Z, and you see the spikes reappear over here. Go ahead and apply the effect again. And you'll watch as the spikes will disappear. So keep an eye out on this little area. Keep in mind, this was the area where I didn't say anything for a couple of seconds. So is this little area right here. Keep looking. And you see the little spikes are gone. It's because the static is gone. The noise is gone. So now if you were to play it back, it would be clear. There would be absolutely nothing. You wouldn't hear anything. And more or less, the static is gone. Again, it does play with the audio quality a little bit, but it's better than having static in your user's ear. Now, I don't want this dead space in my end product, because having a video with 30 seconds of nothing at the beginning is kind of dumb. So you just sort of highlight that, and then on your keyboard, press delete, gets rid of it. And you can do that with, with everything. Um, so I'm going to add a new track here, I'm going to show you. That's sort of how you move um, the audio samples around in Audacity. Just highlight something. You can either copy, control C, and then paste, control V. Or you can cut, control X, and then paste it again, control V. And you sort of move that clip of sound around. So that's really like how you move the clips of sound around in Audacity. The other thing is, um, on this clip, let's say the audio is a little bit quiet. I want it to be a bit louder. I can just highlight it all again. Go down to Effect. Go to Amplify. I know by default it'll amplify it as much as it can. Usually the default is pretty good. It's You'll notice every time it'll say um, the amount of amplification a little bit different. Usually, what Audacity picks by default is the best choice, but you can play around with that a little bit if you want to. Just say OK. And keep an eye on the spikes up here. And a lot bigger, see? Meaning they're louder. So, that's if you're low. Um, another effect is sometimes if you want to bleep like uh, I don't know you swear by accident or you say someone's name who you don't want mentioned in the clip one thing that you can do is um, sort of zoom in select where it is you can hit play while you're doing this but um the way that I'm recording it doesn't really sound very well so just have to take my word for it um, just select a bit go to effect Go to where is it? Oh, um, my bad. Generate tone. Keep that sign, and you can move it up and down, whatever is best for you. Generally, about a thousand to about nine hundred to about a thousand hertz for frequency is just fine. Amplitude. Um, look right here, and you'll see how high it is. It goes from 0 to 1. And just sort of see, like, you want just above that. So, for example, right here, maybe about 0.4 would be best. So we'll change that to maybe 0.4. Hit OK. And it covers that whole area with a sort of bleep sound. Yeah, that's loud. Um, if you don't like how loud it is, hit Control Z, which undoes it, and then do it again. Let's see, this time we want to go down to about 0.3. Okay, it's a little bit lower. And there we go again. Um, if you really want to, you can keep on looking up different effects. There's loads of stuff in here. I'm pretty sure just by looking at it, you can tell what each one does. Repeat, repeats a sound. Uh, wah-wah literally makes a sound, wah-wah. 
amplify, bass and treble, changing the bass or treble to be higher than the other, compressor, all very cool effects, all very useful. Um, I like using the equalization just to make it sound like an old timey radio. I've done that for a couple of school projects. Uh, I might go into that in another video. But that's pretty much the most used thing that I use in Audacity. Um, just a couple of other footnotes. If you're hitting play, then you can't. Oh shit. Then you can't edit something. You'll see here if I go to effect, that is, it's because I'm still pause. So if you hit play on something, you can't go to effect and then use an effect. You have to hit stop first. That's the one of the little quirks about Audacity, but you just get used to working with it. Um, what else is there? When you go to save an Audacity project, you have a couple of options. You can save as. Just save it to my desktop as um, test and save it. And here we have it right here the folder that it comes with and the Audacity project file. Now you can't open this in, say, well, you can't really open this in, say, VLC and play it. No. What you have to do instead is open that project, I have it open right here, go to File, and then go to Export. And then that'll give you the option to, that'll give you the option to save it as different files. So right here we've got MP3, FLAC, MP2, M4A, AC3, WMA, WAVE. The most common ones that you'll use are WAVE and MP3. You might use M4A sometimes and WMA, but the most common are going to be MP3 and WAVE. For quality, you want WAVE. For file size, which means you're going to upload it somewhere, you want MP3. If you're going to be editing a lot, you might want to use AUG. I usually convert things into AUG first just because it's a lot easier to edit. The sort of rendering times are a little bit lower, but for the most part, WAVE and MP3. WAVE when you're editing, MP3 when you're going to be uploading it. Okay, so we can just save it to MP3. Okay. Oh, and here you can sort of, if you were going to actually publish this, you can say the artist name would be um, me. Say, um, track, test, album title, um, the face, track number, one, oh, that's weird, um, year, 2013, all that stuff, hit OK, it'll render it out, and when it's done, um, when it's done, see it, here it is on the desktop, when it's done you can play it, just right click, open with whatever your favorite music program is, I really don't care. Um, another thing is, just wait for this to finish, come on, come on, to open a file in it, you can just, eek, file new, um, you can literally just drag and drop something in there, so for example, I've got, the pre-edit to my podcast right here. Just drag and drop it in there, and it'll bring it in. And in a few seconds, you'll see it show up. In a few seconds, you'll see it show up. Come on. See? Very easy to actually move files in and out of it. Very easy to program to work with. Um, just stick to those few steps, and really, you'll be just fine. So... Oh, and also, I guess we'll just show you that this actually does work. File, and then... Shut up. Um, <laughs> I'm telling myself to shut up. Go over here and hit Properties. And you can see, Title, Test, Artist, William, Album, Your Face. All that good stuff, right there. Just like I showed you. So that's pretty much the basics to Audacity, in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos on how to do stuff like this, maybe even how to edit. 
Um, see you guys in the future.